Did you know that the ketogenic diet was originally developed in the 1920s, not for weight loss, but as a treatment for epilepsy? Yeah, that's right. Now, that's a surprising twist. Just like a Hollywood blockbuster, this diet has seen its fair share of transformations. Picture this. It's the roaring 20s, jazz is in the air, and doctors are prescribing a high-fat, low-carb diet to treat epilepsy. Fast forward to today, and the keto diet has become a red carpet regular, flaunting its weight loss wonders and energy-boosting benefits. But this isn't just another fad diet that's had a star-studded makeover. Oh no, the science behind keto is as solid as the rock's biceps. It's all about shifting your body's fuel source from carbs to fats, creating a state of ketosis that can help burn fat more efficiently. So from hospital wards to Hollywood stars, the keto diet has definitely made a name for itself. But what makes it tick? Alright so we know keto is the new black, but how do you make it work for you? Now imagine this, you're at a tailor's shop, you wouldn't just pick up a suit off the rack would you? No, you'd get it tailored so it fits you like a glove. Or picture this, you're at a car dealership, ready to customize your dream ride. You wouldn't just opt for the, the standard package, you'd tweak it, add a few extras, make it truly yours. That's exactly how you should approach your keto journey, with a sense of personalization. Just as one size doesn't fit all in the world of fashion or cars, a generic keto plan isn't going to work for everyone. Your body, your lifestyle, your preferences are unique to you. So your diet should be too. You see, the keto diet isn't rigid set of rules, it's a flexible framework, it's like a canvas waiting for you to paint your own masterpiece. You have the power to mold it, to shape it to meet your individual needs and goals, and that's the beauty of it. Now you might be wondering why is personalization so important? Well think about it. If your diet isn't tailored to your lifestyle, your taste preferences, your health needs, are you really going to stick with it? And if you don't stick with it, can it really be effective? The answer is a resounding no. Personalization is the key to making your keto journey not just successful, but enjoyable too. It's about your diet, making it a part of your life, not a chore or a burden. It's about making it sustainable. And that's what we're after, isn't it? A sustainable change, a lifestyle shift, not a fix. So just like a bespoke suit or a pimped out ride, your keto diet needs to be customized to fit you perfectly. Let's dive into how. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more keto tips and tricks. So, you've decided to go keto. But before you start guzzling down the butter and bacon, let's figure out why you're here. Now it's important to understand that everyone's goals and needs when it comes to the keto diet can be as diverse as a box of assorted chocolates. Some of you might be here to shed a few pounds, perhaps you've got a high school reunion coming up, or you just want to fit into that pair of jeans you've been eyeing. On the other hand, some of you might be looking to boost your energy levels. Maybe you're tired of that mid-afternoon slump that has you reaching for the nearest sugary snack. Or perhaps, you're an aspiring marathon runner, looking to get that extra edge. And then there are those of you who are here for health reasons. Maybe your doctor suggested a low-carb diet to manage a health condition. Or perhaps you're just trying to improve your overall well-being and longevity. The beauty of the keto diet is that it can cater to all these goals and more. But here's the thing, your keto diet will look different from someone else's keto diet. And that's okay, because it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of deal. It's more like a tailored suit, it fits best when it's made just for you. For those of you looking to lose weight, you might need to be more mindful of your calorie intake, even on a high-fat diet. If you're aiming for improved energy, you'll want to focus on nutrient-dense foods that fuel your body. And if you're managing a health condition, well, it's important to work closely with your healthcare provider to make sure you're getting the balance just right. So, before you dive headfirst into the world of keto, take a moment to reflect on your goals and needs. Jot them down, make a vision board, whatever helps you keep your eye on the prize. Because understanding these is the secret sauce to creating your perfect keto diet. Whether you're looking to slim down or power up, Knowing your goals is the first step to tailoring your perfect keto diet. Now let's talk macros. No, not the big buttons on your keyboard, but the nutrients in your food. Picture yourself as a master mixologist creating the perfect cocktail. In your shaker you're not just adding spirits and mixers, but fats, proteins and carbs. This is the heart of the keto diet. It's all about the right balance of macronutrients, or macros for short. So what's the secret recipe for this keto cocktail? It's simple high fat, moderate protein, and low carbohydrate. The majority of your caloric intake, around 70 to 75%, should come from healthy fats. Think avocados, nuts, seeds, and oils. 
Next, we add a splash of protein, around 20 to 25% of your daily calories. This is your lean meats, fish, and eggs. But remember, too much protein can kick you out of ketosis, so don't go overboard with the chicken wings. Lastly, we top this cocktail off with a tiny umbrella of carbs. Only about 5 to 10% of your daily calories should come from carbs. And we're not talking about the sugary, processed kind, we mean the nutritious, low-carb veggies like spinach and broccoli. But here's where the personal twist comes in. These ratios aren't set in stone. Just like you might prefer your cocktail a little stronger or sweeter, you can adjust your macros based on your individual needs and goals. Are you a fitness enthusiast aiming for muscle gain? You might want to up that protein. Or maybe you're someone who's focused on weight loss. In this case, you might want to stick to the lower end of the carb limit. Remember, the keto diet isn't a one-size-fits-all. It's more like a custom-tailored suit, designed to fit you and only you. So, grab your mixologist shaker, or in this case, your meal planner, and start experimenting with your macros. It's all about finding what works for you, what satisfies your taste buds, and what helps you meet your health goals. Just like a great DJ, you've got to find the right mix of macros to keep your body grooving on the keto diet. Alright, we've got the goals, we've got the macros, now let's talk about the fun part, food. You've probably heard a few rumors about the keto diet, you know that it's all bacon-wrapped cheese and butter-slathered steaks. Well let me tell you, that's a myth. Keto is far more diverse and delicious than that. Sure you can have your steak, but why not pair it with some scrumptious low-carb veggies like broccoli or asparagus? There's an entire world of keto-friendly foods out there. Proteins are a big part of it. We're talking meats, poultry, fish, and eggs. These are the building blocks of your diet. But remember, variety is the spice of life. So, don't just stick to chicken breast day in and day out. Mix it up. Go for the salmon, the turkey, the lamb. Now let's talk fats. You're gonna love this. Avocados, olives, and coconut oil are your new best friends. And nuts and seeds? They're the perfect snack. They're like the supporting actors that steal the show. And let's not forget about our leafy green buddies. Spinach, kale, lettuce. They're low in carbs and high in nutrients. They're like the silent heroes of the keto diet. But wait, what about the forbidden fruit? Literally, fruit. Well, while you might need to bid adieu to your morning banana, there are still some low sugar fruits like berries that can make an occasional guest appearance on your keto menu. So, as you can see, the keto diet isn't about deprivation, it's about making smart, delicious choices. It's about embracing foods that nourish and satisfy you while keeping you in that sweet, sweet state of ketosis. So go ahead, play with your food, experiment with flavors and textures, find your keto groove. And remember, food isn't just fuel. It's a source of joy, a form of self-care. It's a way to connect with others and with yourself. So don't fear the food. With the right choices, you can enjoy a diverse and delicious keto diet. Okay, you're all set. But remember, the keto journey doesn't end with a grocery list. Imagine yourself as a top-notch detective or a world-class scientist, because that's what you're going to be on this keto journey. Your body is the crime scene and the lab, and you're going to monitor it closely. Keep a keen eye on your progress, track your macros, ketone, and overall well-being. Are you losing weight? Are you feeling more energetic? Are those pesky cravings disappearing? All these are clues left by your body. And just like any good detective or scientist, don't be afraid to change your approach if something's not working. Adjust your macros, switch up your foods, play around with your eating schedule. This is your journey, and you're in the driver's seat. So. Keep an eye on the clues your body is giving you, and you'll be on your way to mastering your personalized keto diet. And remember, if you found this helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more keto tips and tricks to share with you. Stay tuned.